Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will talk about a special tool called Python pip. So we are going to see what is Python pip and how to use Python pip. So let's get started. So first of all, what is Python pip? So pip is a command line tool for installing and managing Python packages, which are generally found on a special index called Python package index. Now, if you want to know more about Python package index, you can visit on a website called pypy.org, pypi.org, and you will be able to get more information about Python package index on this website. So what is Python package index? Python package index or PyPy is a repository of software for Python programming language. Now PyPy helps you to find and install software developed and shared by the Python community. You can get more details about PyPy by clicking on this link or this link which are shown on the home page of PyPy. And you can see at the time of making this video, there are almost more than 150,000 projects available on this index. And if you want to search for any special project, you can search it using this search text box. So let's see how we can use Python pip using command line. So generally, whenever you have installed Python on your Windows or any other operating system, pip will be installed with the same installation of Python. So if you have installed Python 3.4 or above, most probably the Python pip will be already installed on your operating system. Now to check which version of pip is installed on your system, you can give this command python hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and it's going to show you the version of pip installed on your system. So you can see pip 10.0.1 is installed on my windows operating system and the python version which it supports is 3.7. Now the first thing which you need to know about this tool called pip is how to use this tool. So to know more about this tool, you can give this command python hyphen hyphen help and it's going to show you the commands which you can use with this command line tool. So here you can see the usage, you give the pip command and then one of these command either install, download, uninstall, list, show and all these other commands in order to install a package or uninstall a package or get to know more about a particular package. Also, there are some general options here which you can read. So for example, if you want to get help, you give these options, or if you want to print the verbose output, you can use these options. And if you want to know the version, you can use these options and all these other options are available with this command line tool, which is pip. So let me clear this command prompt with the command called cls and I'm going to first of all go into the python shell using python command and in here I'm going to import a special package called flask and I'm trying to see if it's already there or not. So I'm going to press enter and it's going to show me this error which says module not found error. So this module flask is not right now recognized by my python interpreter so let me just exit from this interpreter by just pressing exit and now i'm going to just give cls so in order to know more about a particular package you give this command python search and the name of the package so in my case i want to just search for a package called flask and i'm going to press enter and it's going to give me a big list of package which are related to Flask. So because Flask is a popular package on Python package index, that's why you can see so many options for the Flask package. So I'm going to once again clear the terminal and I'm going to install this package which is Flask. So in order to install the package, you give this command pip install and the name of the package and then press enter 
and it's going to start downloading this package. So now you can see this package is successfully installed on my system and you can see the version which is installed is Flask 1.0.2. Now in order to know more about a particular package which you have already installed, you can give this command. So in order to know more about the package which you have already installed, you give pip show and the package name. And when I give this command, you can see the name of the package is flask. The version which is installed is 1.0.2 and there is a brief summary of this package also which is available here and the home page for this project is also available here who is the author and all the other details about this package which you may find useful are given here using this command which is pip show and the package name now after installing a package i'm going to verify if this package is available using the python shell or not and once again i'm going to try to import this package which is flask and then press enter and you will be able to see now I don't see any error. So if you don't see any error, this means that this package is successfully installed and in future you will be able to import this package to use it on any of your Python script which you create after installing this package. So let me once again exit from the Python shell and let me clear the command prompt once again. Now in order to list out all the packages which are installed on your system, you can give this command which is pip list, which is going to print the list of all the packages which is already installed on your system. Now in order to uninstall any package, you just need to give this command pip uninstall and the name of the package. For example, I want to uninstall this package which we have installed, which is flask and I'm going to press enter and you can see it says uninstalling flask and it will ask you whether you want to proceed or not. So you just need to press Y in order to proceed. And once you press Y, it's going to just uninstall that package from your system. And at the end, you will see this message which says successfully uninstalled and the package name which you have uninstalled. You can once again give this command pip list and now you can see flask is no more in the list of installed packages. So this is how you can use Python pip in order to install and manage your Python packages. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.